गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द फॉजिल फ्यूल्स ओके एंड हाउ इट फॉर्म्स एंड दिस एक्सॉस्टिबल नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कोल पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैव स्टार्टेड कोल ओके एंड हाउ इट फॉर्म सो एंड वॉट आर द सम इम्पॉर्टेंस points related to the coal means how the characteristics of coal coal is a black in color and where it is found so that points we discuss in the last lecture okay so now we will see the next point that is the destructive distillation now destructive distillation see we have heard about the fractional distillation simple distillation uh, means a distillation but now the here the one more method it is given one that is the destructive a uh, distillation okay so before to start that see here in the industries coal is used to manufacture coke coal tar liquid ammonia and coal gas by the process of destructive distillation means see there are the some product which is formed by coal okay now everyone you know that how the coal is a form due to the deposition of dead plants and vegetables and because of that the coal is a form okay but there are the some products which we can prepare from coal so in most of the industries they manufacture the some products that is coke coal tar liquid ammonia and coal gas by the process of of destructive distillation now see here the destruction of coal only okay so in this process with the help of coal we are getting these substances which are these substances that is the coke coal tar and liquid ammonia and these substances we are using in the further use okay so what are the uses of that that we will see after so first we will see how this product is formed how this product is manufactured by the process of destructive distillation so first we will discuss about what exactly destructive distillation now see here is the process of breaking of coal by heating it a high temperature in the absence of air means see these all the product that is the coke coal tar liquid ammonia and the uh, and coal gas this is formed by the breaking of coal okay it is formed by the breaking of a uh, coal and we have to give the heat more amount of heat means uh, at 1000 degree celsius heat is needed for this process okay see how much amount of heat is necessary 1000 degrees celsius at heat is needed for this process heating it a high temperature so temperature 1000 degrees celsius in the absence of air so this process is totally it is going on in the absence of air okay so what is the destructive distillation destructive distillation means is the process of breaking of of coal by heating how it breaks the coal because now we want these substances which substances coal coal tar liquid ammonia coal gas these substances we want so for that it is we have to give a lot of heat to the coal and after that the coal will break into these different different substances okay so now we will see how exactly the process is going on see i have drawn here diagram okay so this we can do in our chemistry lab also so when our school will start so that time we will perform this practical so today i will explain with the help of this diagram see here now everyone uh, this is the stand we can see this stand we are and this gas burner okay these two are the large test tubes we have taken here and uh, these two bent tubes this is one bent tube and this one is another okay now see here in this first test tube means which one is a horizontal test tube in that here it is coal is it take means we have to take a pinch of coal means for 
experiment okay and then if we have to provide a heat at least how many degree celsius heat we need 1000 degree degree celsius heat is needed to break down this coal so when it start heating the vapors vapors with the, this bent tube through this bent tube it will go the down and here in this um, test tube a little water we have taken okay and now when this vapor will go through this test tube it will be collected in this another test tube here downside okay and this downside test tube whatever the collected product that product is known as a coal tar okay it is a very porous form so when this coal we are heating then uh, this through and through this bent tube it will come in this test tube and it is collected in the downside and that is known as a coal tar now see this coal tar is a mix in this liquid okay so these the colorless liquid the colorless liquid that is known as a ammonia liquid okay this colorless liquid is known as a ammonia liquid so see we got the first product which was the first product see here the coal tar see here we got here the coal tar okay now the second one what ammonium see liquid ammonia means ammonium liquid here this second ammonium liquid and see still some when it is reacted with this water this coal tar is reacted with this water and then what some vapors comes out okay and that is known as a means if when we are performing this practical a gas fumes comes out through this bent tube that is known as a coal gas okay that is known as a coal gas okay and see after the heating when heating is a completed okay this coal is a completely heated till 1000 degree celsius and we got here the coal tar also as well as coal ga gas and ammonia liquid and whatever the residue remain here residue means what the remaining product after heating whatever the residue remain in this test tube see here that residue is known as a coke okay so see the coal is how much helpful for us when so many product its form only one coal see we are taken here the coal and we provide heat to that coal so we got this different different product that is first one is coal tar then ammonium liquid coal gas and the residue whatever it is remaining here that residue is known as a coke okay so these a product we got this whole the process okay this process is known as a destructive distillation now why the name is given destructive because here we break down the coal in a different different product so it is known as a destructive distillation and this process in the absence of air so this whole the process see absence of air so this process is known as a distillation process okay so this whole the process is known as a destructive distillation and through this process we got here these three substances that is coal tar coal gas ammonium liquid and residue that is coke see here one reaction i have written here coal strong heat you can write here 1000 degree celsius in the absence of air and the product which we will get that product is coke coal tar and coal gas plus ammonia liquid okay 
so today we have discussed about the destructive distillation and which product is formed by this process okay so do you understand how we got this all the uh, product that is the manufacture see in industries coal is used to manufacture coke coal tar liquid ammonia and coal gas by the process of destructive distillation so these all the points you write down in your chemistry notebook and see here this diagram i drawn on the board but even though here picture is shown this diagram that diagram same you have to draw in your chemistry notebook okay and if you have any doubt regarding this point you can contact to me so now in the next period we will see the each of them means what are the uses of coal coal tar coal gas okay in the next period we will see the uses of this all the product okay so today we will stop here in the next period we will continue our next point thank you